Manning has benched quarterbacks have been in the headlines all week long. This is Good Morning Football getting you set for week three. We've got highlights from last night's action. Titans and Jags. Will Selva has more quarterback news out in Culver City. Absolutely. What's going on there, Kay? And guys, well, the circumstances are far from ideal. But quarterback Josh Rosen will get another chance to prove himself. Dolphins head coach Brian Flores is naming Rosen the starter for Sunday's game against the Cowboys. Rosen takes over for veteran Ryan Fitzpatrick. He's relieved Fitzpatrick in two blowout losses this season. For his career, Rosen 3-10 with a completion percentage of 54.3 and a passer rating of 64.1. So the evaluation process begins in earnest for Flores and company. The Dolphins, of course, trading away a second-round pick in the offseason for the former first-round pick. Now, Rosen will be getting a new teammate in Miami, fellow first-rounder Taco Charlton. The Dolphins claiming Charlton after the defensive end was released by the Cowboys this week. Charlton collecting just four sacks, 11 QB hits, and one forced fumble in his two seasons in Dallas. The future of the quarterback position will be on display Sunday between Patrick Mahomes and Lamar Jackson. Jackson leading all QBs in rushing yards this season, while Mahomes leads the NFL in passing yards to the first two QBs in the Super Bowl era with 70-plus completion percentage and at least seven passing TDs and no INTs over the first two games of the season. Ravens defense coordinator Wink Martindale seeing a QB matchup of epic proportions. That's the direction this league's going. And I think, you know, just as an NFL fan, as a fantasy owner, if you will, the NFL's in good hands with these young quarterbacks. And I think you're going to see two great quarterbacks in this game. You know, we, we might be seeing the next Brady Manning matchup, Ali Frazier, Magic Bird. I don't, you know, you, you don't know. But well, Mahomes and Jackson are two of the five QBs in the Super Bowl era with a 100-plus career pass rating. Of those five, Mahomes and Jackson rank first and second in win percentage. But to invoke bird and magic, mm -hmm. uh, mm. that is heady stuff there from mm -hmm. Wink Martindale. Ali and Fraser, Brady, Peyton Manning. We'll get to it right yeah. now in our words and what we view this mega heavyweight bout that's going to occur this week in week three because Martindale's right. Don, a.k.a. Wink. Don. I mean, Shregs, he's saying that, of course, these are two of the best. I don't know if two quarterbacks have had better starts to their season than these two. Can you explain why this Sunday is going to be so special? The significance, Kay, is that we're losing a lot of our great quarterbacks this season to injuries and some guys being benched, and yet here are these two beacons of hope for the league, and especially in the AFC. For years, it was Brady and Manning. Are these the next two, Mahomes and Lamar? And last year, week 14, they had arguably the best regular season matchup. And I know everyone loved the Rams and Chiefs and the shootout and all that. Mm -hmm. This one was as good as it gets in Arrowhead. Mahomes and Lamar going head to head. And it, when it mattered most, it was Mahomes in the fourth quarter. He threw the no-look pass. You remember that one? Mm -hmm. He also threw an incredible pass to Tyree Kill on fourth and long. Remember it. Found a way. But we only saw half of the Lamar Jackson experience. This is what we were getting from Mahomes. I think Lamar Jackson is an entirely different quarterback this season than he was last year. So that one was 27-24, went to overtime. It took every last second for the Chiefs to find a way to get this victory of our good Ravens team. Now you have Lamar Jackson not only running, but throwing the ball at a high rate. This could be it. This could be the right. AFC quarterback matchup for not only this season. We might see it again in the playoffs. It could be the next quarterback matchup for the next five, Woo! ten years. Hey! I don't think that's hyperbole. These are the two guys that I think not only the league has, but CBS, who carries these, these AFC games, has a lot of hope for. Huh. This is a premier game, week three, right at 1 o'clock. Yeah, I got home yesterday, and I'm that's flipping good. through the channels, trying to figure out what's on. And uh, I... I simply skip past the NBA channel. I'm like, wait, is that the NBA dunk contest? So I, I click on it because got I love that, right? Larry Nance. It got me thinking about the dunk contest from yesteryear. There was a year in the 80s where the NBA said, let's skip all the theatrics. Mm -hmm. Let's skip all the extra guys. Let's just do two of the best highlight films in the game, Michael Jordan versus Dominique Wilkins. And the reason they did Let's that is because they wanted all eyes on these two individuals. Okay. I feel like that's this for the NBA, NFL. I feel like okay. when you have Pat Mahomes, Lamar Jackson, these are two of the most athletic, two of the more explosive, 
best passers that we've seen. Now, you can make the argument that Pat Mahomes is a better passer for sure. I'm not going to argue that. But when it comes to highlights, just pure highlights, you want the matchup of two individuals where you can sit back like Michael Jackson with the popcorn watching a movie and just enjoy the show. And here's the thing. Just like within that dunk contest, all it takes is one guy to miss that dunk. And I have a highlight for Pat Mahomes. It just takes one moment where you get a little too confident True. and one ball sails out of your hand. Now, of course, this didn't end in Pat Mahomes not getting in the end zone. But if you get a little too full of yourself and you make a mistake, the other individual could take advantage. So this isn't going to be about who's going to have more highlights because they both will. This is going to be about who's going to miss that first dunk. And I feel like this is going to be one of the greatest highlights that we get to see of our era. You're right, Shays. With all of the OGs starting to fade away, these young guys, they're taking the show. Did Isaiah Ryder really need the 360 and the legs? <laughs> Listen, Stabler, Bradshaw, Listen. Young Aikman, Kelly Marino, they're all great. But I do feel, feel like this feels like boxing. Doesn't this feel huh. like... Mahomes Jackson 2, like the poster in their face to face. I feel like if the Chiefs win, it's like and still, and if the Ravens win, it is and new. But I don't think it's heavyweights. This is way too yeah, fast. Is. This yeah. is a Ward Gotti slugfest. Yeah. This feels a little bit like Agler Hearns. Well, maybe, or maybe like maybe Creed Balboa. Like, you're not so bad. You're not so bad. And when they start, I feel like it's right here. Ding, yeah. ding. Oh, my gosh. It's going to pay for you. It's for you. And it's weird because <laughs> I almost think it's bigger than what we're even making it. Like, it's the, these two, and they're the future of the league. That's heavy enough. But don't they signify something bigger, like just the evolution of what the NFL has become? Does Lamar Jackson 10, 15 years ago have the opportunity to be what he is in the NFL in 2019? Absolutely not. So when we talk about Manning versus Brady, those are classic drop-back passing quarterbacks. This is something that's totally revolutionary the game and so I just feel like the way they play the way that they're allowed to play is so much more than even we're making it in a vacuum amen yeah. and it could be what's to come okay yeah they're doing it at the highest level and they're doing it in ways that we have not seen before check out that game baby and wait.